Hi everyone. So this is the second half of my book review. Um, I'm going to talk about three different books in this review. All three of them have to do with home remedies. And all three of these I enjoy. There's two of them that I enjoy more than the other. The first one I'm going to show you is the one that I would highly recommend getting. It's going to be my go-to book. Uh, a lot of it has to do with um, stuff that you might find in a wild, like herbs, or something that you might have in your household. So that's this book. I very highly recommend it. It isn't too thick. See? But um, it has anything to do with teaching how to do tinctures or teas, how to make um, a dream pillow, if any of you know what that is. It's a pillow made with herbs that uh, you sleep with. It's supposed to help ward off nightmares, help you sleep better, help your dreams become more vivid, help your dreams become more clear, more uh, to where you can remember them. Um, I had made a small one and I have noticed that my dreams are a lot more clear, a lot more vivid, I can remember them a lot more better. They're more, there's more clarity, more uh, vibrant colors. Um, there's that, there's uh, different, a few different remedies that it doesn't just give you one remedy, it gives you a few. One, so I can give you an example. Okay, so for this one, it's uh, spring tonics that you can do. It's dandelions. It teaches you about what the dandelion would be used for. So it says. Uh, for a cleansing spring tonic, eat young dandelions green raw or cooked, like a beet greens or spinach. It also teaches you um, that you can make it into a drink, that you can, what parts you can eat, how it helps. It says eating green, dandelion greens as a detoxifier for the liver, kidney, blood, and tissue. After long winter of heavy fatty foods, after cancer treatments, or after extreme drug therapies, it helps you to get over problems anywhere from constipation to headaches to sleep deprivation. Um, there is a section in here for nursing mothers, how to ease pain during natural labor, um, how to increase your Lacticity of your breast milk, uh, stuff like that. But I would really highly recommend this book. It's amazing. So the next book I'm going to show you is the second one that I would recommend going to. Uh, this one I found at ER sale, and I'm very pleased that I found it. It's an amazing book. It really is. It's there's a lot of good information in this. It's this one. As you can see, it's pretty thick. Um, this is basically remedies for over-the-counter. So it's everything that most people would have at home or stuff that you can find in a grocery store. It Really, there's not a lot of herbal stuff in here. Uh, find something to give you an example. So, okay, so restless leg syndrome. It tells you uh, what it is, like what um, is going on, symptoms to look for, and it says get up and walk, uh, walk before going to bed, and it explains, so for walking before going to bed, it explains in some cases it's noticeable restlessness, bedtime bouts, or restless leg syndrome. And it gives you a quote from a doctor. Uh, it says, wiggle, 
or is it waggle? Either way, the idea is to move your feet back and forth when symptoms arise. So it just gives you a few different things to look for and um, it's very straight to the point. It just teaches you uh, how to treat them. Um, a lot of it in here is drink water, eat healthier, stuff like that. But I, I like this one. The next one is this one. Now this one is pretty good. It teaches you how to do some teas, tonics, um, tinctures, stuff like that. There is some herbal stuff, but a lot of it is, again, over-the-counter stuff that you can find in your house. Um, I'll give you an example. Uh, to kill cramps, it says, put fish on the menu. Anti-inflammatory compounds are also abundant in seafood. Have a daily serving of fish, oil-rich fish such as sardine, salmon, cod to help reduce your symptoms. So this is ideas of what it gives you. Um, it gives you a whole bunch of different ways to cure it. Uh, let's see, for rashes it says, say all with oats. Uh, almost instant way to ease a dry itchy rash is to treat with an oatmeal bath. You can buy a cortisone oatmeal kit from the drugstore. Add finely grained oatmeal to warm water, not hot. Then settle in for a soak. You can fill an old sock with plain dry oatmeal. Then fasten the open end with rubber bands. Fill the tube with warm water. Let the warm water run through the sock. You can fasten the oatmeal bundle and let it float in the bathtub. When you're done filling it, uh, it says oatmeal makes water soft and soothing, perfect for painful rashes. So it's uh, just a whole bunch of different ways to treat. Uh, different problems anywhere from cramps to headaches to rashes colds stuff like that you know I like I said I prefer the almanac farmers almanac the most out of all three of them but I like all three of them I would recommend getting the almanac series however I did see a whole bunch of them I plan on getting the series but that's my input on all three of them I hope this helps.